Oh, man. This poor Bowflex. It's been through a lot, you know. This poor Bowflex. It's... The rod box finally kicked the bucket. And, uh... Been waiting for three weeks now for a brand new rod box. Man, it just sucks. Yeah, it does. It really sucks. Hold on. Gotta do a couple things, you know. I lost Bendata. Akuda Matata. It was good to know, my friend. They say in the old days, let not those who have perished stay away, or whatever, I don't know, whatever they say. Anyway, how's it going everybody? And the uh, Bowflex has been out of commission for the past three weeks, so I apologize if you didn't see too many Bowflex videos. Uh, I do have a brand new rod box going to be doing a test just to make sure it's not going to break in half on me but I'm 99% uh, sure it's going to be fine uh, the person that made it for me I truly appreciate who did that for me and then uh, we'll go ahead and get this going but I gotta go ahead and get the uh, rod box on the boat flex first all right I'm getting there All right, everyone. So I got the Bowflex all set up. As you can tell, the rods are on there. This is a brand new rod box. Uh, I just didn't want to record putting it on because, you know, it takes a while to put it on. And at the moment, I don't have too much memory. Uh, right now, I'm recording with my phone, my personal uh, phone, which doesn't have enough memory to record everything. So. Uh, this is the next phase of it, uh, what I like to call the uh, rod phase. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be doing one rep for every single rod. And the reason for this is just to make sure that, you know, I put everything on there good enough that it's not going to, one, uh, snap the rods, two, uh, make sure that this is capable of doing each and every single rod and then after that uh, I'm going to go ahead and max out the machine and see the strength of the actual rod, rod box itself and I'm pretty sure it's going to hold so we'll go ahead and find out and uh, let's go ahead and get this going while this is happening uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward and then uh, I would like you guys to take a few minutes in the comments just to let us know uh, what we can do to improve our videos and our channel as well. This is the bench press on Bowflex flat, one rep for each every single one of those rods. I'll I'll go through it as fast as I can so I don't use up too much uh, of my memory. Flex, we got 500 pounds on there right now. Um, now, I understand there's a lot of uh, speculation about uh, Bowflex weight not being the amount that it says, and that is uh, definitely true. Uh, but it's not uh, it's not as easy as people would put it out to be either. Uh, so I do have. Uh, I'll call them Timmy's little helpers to help me lift it up and over my head uh, just because you know I don't want to have any injuries or anything like that in my elbows or you know like crush my skull accidentally or something like that this is quite a bit of weight uh, the older machines compared to the newer machines the newer machines actually suck with the way they're uh, the way they put their rods is just, it's all wrong, okay, the, 
the uh, bend is supposed to be, you know, like pretty much 90 degrees. And if you see me push it on, it's pretty much almost all the way to 90 degrees, probably even a little bit more. Uh, and that goes with the older machines, the newer machines. They have their uh, rod boxes set up in the wrong area, which also decreases uh, the resistance on it as well. Uh, and me and my friend uh, have both tested it out and figured that this is a lot closer to free weight than the brand new uh, ultra super expensive bow flexes out there. So uh, just remember that the older machines are actually made uh, a little bit better and they actually do have better weight systems to them than the brand new ones. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. I have my mic on me, so don't don't be bothered about me moving around. I'm just trying not to get it caught in here because that's a lot of weight and it's not gonna be easy for me to take it out, so. Maybe I should just put my... I'm gonna move my mic over here just so that way I don't mess it up. Okay, so that was 500 pounds on the Bullflex. Sorry about moving the mic. I just, I didn't have much of a choice. But that is quite a bit of weight. Uh, it's probably not exactly 500, but it's, it's probably about 20, maybe 30 pounds off. So it's pretty close. And with, uh, obviously with moving the uh, rod the opposite way that they were bending before, makes it a little bit stronger. I'm going to go ahead and attempt 690 pounds. I just want to make sure that I could get up 500 before I went up another 190 pounds on this thing. Let's go ahead and get that set up. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Uh, here we are again, one last time. Uh, this is going to have two different areas to it since I don't have a camera map right now. Uh, I'm going to show me lifting it and then I'm going to get up out of it, walk over to the camera. When I do that, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it for everybody so that way you don't have to watch me, you know, trying to adjust the angle and all that stuff. But pretty much I want to show you that I do have all the rods on there. I mean, it definitely looks like it from this angle, but I want to make sure that everybody sees that I'm actually doing the whole thing instead of just, oh, yeah, I did it and not show the proof of it. All right, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my mic one more time just so that way I don't mess it up in all this stuff. <laughs> 
690 full flex weight. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Gonna move the camera, fast forward. Okay, so reasons why I don't have a full 700 pounds on there. One, my 10s that I had before snapped, so I had to put on 5s, so it makes it 690. And then the other reason, obviously you can tell I'm pretty out of breath. It's actually quite a bit of weight uh, considering, especially for uh, free weight versus uh, machine weight or, you know, or versus, you know, resistant weight or whatever it might be. Um, each one has a different kind of strength in it. So obviously it's going to be using different types of methods for your body to be able to lift it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, anyway, hopefully everybody enjoyed this video that I made as much as I made, uh, enjoyed making it for everybody else. Please subscribe, like, grab life by the horns, and as always, unleash your inner bull.